Last year, I thought that the famine was going to be so hard and miserable and not fun at all, but it turned out a great experience. I learned that uh, that the struggles that people face in Haiti is just hard and life-threatening. And God helps those people in Haiti and really helps teach them that they'll be okay and He's there for them through their life. People think that they're just going to be hungry all the time and not have any fun. I had a great time doing the famine. It's something new to learn and it really helps me understand the story and the life that people face in Haiti. The famine was awesome and I'm so excited for it this year. Probably one of the hardest parts about the famine was not being able to eat and um, not having the ability to go into the pantry and get, get food. Um, I want to say that probably by the eighth hour I was, I was starving and I knew that I had to wait another several hours before I was going to be able to eat again and the fact that the Haitian people have to go without or they go without food for so long and they go with so little food um, it's just unbelievable God in the Bible says that we should we should do something about that and help those that are um, that that need our help and I believe that that we have an opportunity to um, help the Haitian people Elias Haiti is just an awesome way to do that. Haiti is a country that I care about so much and I really I, I, I really care about some of the people that are down there and I think that this is going to be a great opportunity for all of us to not only help Haiti but to um, show our love to the Haitian people and, um, and care for them. I learned a lot of the famine last year and I think the biggest thing I learned is that we take a lot of things that we have for advantage and like we don't really realize what we have but last year at the famine they kind of talked about how they don't know what they're gonna have or like the next time they're gonna eat and we can just go to the store and just like buy whatever we want and they can't do that and they never know what the next time they're gonna get something or like food. We watched a video last year and I think it really touched a lot of us and made us realize that what we have and what they have is a lot different. I grew a lot with God at the famine last year and I'm really excited to do it again this year. A year and a half ago I did the uh, Elias famine and then a year ago I was able to go to Haiti and the money raised from the Elias famine I was able to see work in Haiti while I was down there. Um, last year at the LS Famine we were, watched a video about uh, people in poverty and it just really was eye-opening to me that the people there who are in poverty, they just, no matter how hard they work or how much time they put into it, they're always going to be stuck in poverty and they're never going to be able to um, successfully get out and their children also are also going to be stuck in poverty. God detests poverty and because of that I should detest it too. I mean, it breaks God's heart, it should break my heart also. I'm honestly really looking forward to the LS Famine this year and I'm excited to see what God is going to open my eyes to this year and break my heart this year even more. <laughs>